the Commissioner of Agriculture, Steve Troxler, and for the past few days I've been in the air and on the ground in Western North Carolina, and it's, it's really hard to describe how bad the situation really is. And I tell people, don't think uh, hurricanes, don't think, think floods, uh, think tsunami. Uh, you've seen pictures of tsunamis, uh, especially around the Pacific Rim and the damage that they do. That's what we've got in the mountain valleys in North Carolina. The need is great, uh, and this will be a disaster that is going to go on and on and on. And what we've seen is the willingness of people to give planes after a period of time. And we can't do that this time. The uh, cold weather is coming to the mountain. There's going to be need for cots, air mattresses, blankets. Uh, we're going to need a way to keep these people warm, so I ask you to consider giving that. There also is going to be a great need for volunteers. Uh, we have faith-based organizations like Baptist Home Mission and Samaritans First that are up there feeding, uh, but they need uh, monetary resources, and they're going to need more volunteers to be able to man that. We have set up an ad hoc line in the department and you can call it from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. That number is 866-645-9403. And if you do have an agricultural emergency, please reach out to us so that we can help. We also have a special that you can access from our website at www.mcagr.gov. This is going to help connect people with, uh, that need assistance with those that have it. We've got put out a, an urgent plea for fencing materials and cattle feed and horse feed, and the response has been great. But that's ongoing also. We do have many, many fences in North Carolina washed away, uh, and we've got to corral the livestock and get them back uh, where we can look out for. I've had a number of drop-off locations created uh, for staging areas for feed, and you can find those listed on our website at www.mcagr.gov. We have every division in the Department of Agriculture, which is 21 divisions, involved in relief efforts and, and response. Uh, that ranges from humanitarian efforts of sheltering people at the Western North Carolina Ag Center and even co-sheltering their pets with them. We have a division in uh, emergency program that does nothing but try to help look after pets in this emergency. We are receiving pet supplies and, and creating shelters for people's pets when they are, have lost their houses. We're assisting livestock producers uh, with all kinds of emergency health uh, management teams that are working with food manufacturers and processors to ensure safe production. As you can see behind me, our farmers markets uh, collected donations this weekend and the outpouring has been, outpouring has been tremendous. We have collected over 300 pallets of food and supplies at our state farmers market but we will have another collection day later on. The need will be great then too. We had yesterday an outpouring of uh, help from West Virginia at our Greensboro Farmers Market. A whole convoy of trucks came down and donated. And they said that North Carolinians had helped them many, many times in disasters and they wanted to return the favor. Uh, it was heartwarming to see the vendors and the patrons pick in to unload those trucks and get it into the boxes we had there for them. That's what this is about, is neighbor helping neighbor. The things that divide us no longer divide us when it comes to helping people. We've got to do that and sustain that for a long period of time. Our fire service is on the ground over 200 strong in Western North Carolina as first responders and the incident management commanders, uh, we will be there for a long time. I know you think of commodities in the uh, mountains that we grow, such as uh, vegetables, nursery stock, uh, dairy, beef cattle, trout, and Christmas trees. In a lot of cases, these took a big, big hit. The crops are washed away, the land's washed away. The good news is the Christmas tree industry remains in good shape. Good shape. 
And if we get the roads and the and, uh, passable conditions, we will have plenty of crystal trees this year. I thank you for being here today. Uh, we are uh, about 1,800 strong in the Department of Agriculture. Every one of us devoted to help, to, devoted to helping with this disaster. So we will get this done as North Carolinians, and, and we will stand together. And I thank you. Please keep praying for these people. Please volunteer, and please send monetary contributions to relief agencies involved in this this effort. Thank you. Yeah, you want me a couple questions? That's okay with me. And they wanted me to ask them. Um, Oh, some vineyards have been some vineyards have been hit. And how are you guys hoping that the vineyards have been impacted? At the Palmer Park, mm -hmm. yes, uh, and especially in the Asheville Palmer Park, we have uh, producers that have vendor spaces there, and uh, of course, there's no patrons can get there. So we are trying to transfer some of that commodity to other farmers' markets and have a special day for people to come and buy these commodities to help the farmers and the vendors at our markets. But we also are going to consider a program where we uh, relieve the vendors of having to pay for spaces if we can legally do that. Uh, so we're going to make sure that these markets stay strong and they are uh, the place for people to go for local products. They also want to go more in detail about damages for wineries. I have not been to wineries per se, but I can assure you that grapes, uh, our grape vineyards have sustained damage and it's like every other commodity. Uh, I was in Henderson County where we have a, a lot of apple, apple production and they had took a, a hard hit with apples on the ground, shredded apples on the trees, and more importantly, many, many apple trees that have been blown over and completely destroyed. And it's about a five year process to replant apple trees and get them to the point that they are profitable. We at North Carolina are gonna try our best to step up to help all our areas of agriculture. We are hopeful that we will see a federal relief program, especially for agriculture that will help relieve some of the problems we've got. I do want to tell people that even before the disaster in the mountain, we had a statewide disaster in agriculture. We had drought, we had flood, uh, we had Hurricane Debbie, uh, and then this just topped it off. At one time, we had 98 of the 100 counties uh, in drought. So it's going to be a difficult recovery process for the agriculture people in North Carolina, but we'll stand strong and make sure we're not. Thank you.